sharing original music. It's a pretty vulnerable feeling, you know? A lot of the songs that I write, sometimes I question if they'll ever get heard. And I may walk out there and then everyone may hate it. My name is Sam Hatmaker and I am a country musician from Knoxville, Tennessee, living in Nashville, Tennessee. I was someone who really, really, really wanted to be creative, but had no idea where I fit in growing up. So that was a big thing for me to try to find that. I know like writing was something I kind of started doing before I even played an instrument or knew that much about music, really. It was something I was doing for fun as a kid. So uh, I picked up a guitar. I never took a guitar lesson. I would just go watch YouTube videos, figure out um, chords. It kind of grew from this hobby thing I had as a kid to something that I found out I wanted to do forever. I believe when I first heard that Nashville was shutting down, I was writing with a good friend of mine and we were actually writing in um, her publisher office space. And um, we realized we were like the only ones there. Her publisher actually came and told us, she was like, uh, this is probably the last time you guys are gonna be writing here for a while because we're having to close everything down. That's why no one's here. And I remember just being like so thrown off by it. And I remember my first thought was just something like, so stupid. I was like, I wonder if I'm playing my show still next week. And it was like, no, you're not. Everything is shutting down. Um, I think it was like hard for me to grasp, you know, like I feel like no matter what anyone has been through, like music's kind of been like the one thing that's always still been there. You know, watching like each venue kind of close one by one and say, we don't know when we'll be back. It was definitely really weird. And I never seen Nashville like that. probably like most people entering like this phase of depression for a while because music has always like been all that I've known. It's all that I've done. The feeling of loneliness is just really common if you're a creative person in any way, but it got very personified in a way during the lockdown where I had to face it head on. The lockdown made everyone so vulnerable. Like everyone was feeling super lonely. So we were all just talking about it. You know, a few weeks went by and you know, after that the acceptance phase comes. Cause it's like, you're not gonna be able to do anything about this. You can't really fix it. So you just kind of have to accept it and adapt. I have been releasing music uh, for about the past year now. This is my first time releasing music as an artist. So it's been really exciting for me and this has been my goal for so long. I put out an acoustic project last year. I was like, I want like this introduction to me where it feels very low key. Um, up until that point, I had just been like posting videos of me playing songs I wrote in my bedroom. Like that was all the content that I had. And I was like, I don't want it to feel too far away from that. I want it to feel very, natural and real and I wanted people to feel the way I was when I was writing these songs and um, they were all very like homemade. I will say it, I mean it, it worked out how I hoped it would. There were um, new people like messaging me on Instagram saying they had heard the songs and they were like oh I, I really relate to this one or that one um, and that's how I wanted it to be. I, I liked that people who had like never heard of me or my music like found me online and then felt close enough through my songs that they felt like, yeah, I can send her a message and tell her about my story. I put out my first single called The Lion or the Lamb. I remember like when I wrote it, I was like, oh, I, I think this is the sound. Like this is the kind of music I want to be making. So it felt natural to lead with something like that. And I hope I can just continue. I feel like I'm like in a phase of growth. And so I hope I continue to grow and don't ever stop doing that. I love doing what I do. I honestly, you know, I know it's a lot of hard work and there's a lot of like uncertainty. You never know if something's gonna work out, but honestly, I've never had to question if it was worth it. It just, um, I think it brings me such joy and I really feel like it's something I was meant to do. So I feel like I've found my purpose.
taker Your passion is fire But I'm not a fighter Don't buy like a tiger You look like a lone wolf You're lost in your hopeless Too bad for you all When I finally get to play a live show again, I hope you know everyone who comes in doesn't bring anything from the outside world with them. All right, well, hello guys, my name is Sam Hatmaker. Uh, I'm in from Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to be playing some music for the next couple hours or so. I love you like a dream. Oh, love you too. I want to leave. Boys only want to leave. They all come in to forget about what's been going on for all of us. And I hope they come in and hear some music that they love and have a good time. And I hope we all don't even have to think about the pandemic or anything like that. I really hope that my next live show, we're just thinking about music. <laughs>